Frere Jean was the first to wake. Smelling the smoke, the aged monk sat upright in bed, his hand instinctively clasping the iron key and the gold medallion on a chain around his neck. He threw on his robe and deftly moved towards a thick hemp rope hanging from the tower. After hauling on it once, twice, the heavy bronze bell began to toll. Three other monks burst into the chamber, eyes wide with rough wool blankets draped across their shoulders. Without a word, all four hurried to a stone and wood chamber already half engulfed in flames. At the room's center, still untouched by the blaze, stood an ornate silver chest on a low stone pedestal. Using their blankets, the other monks beat back the flames enough that Frere Jean could insert the key and open the chest. He lifted out the contents, an old stained bolt of linen already singed from the heat. Tucking it beneath his robe, he hobbled out of the burning room towards the monastery's rear entrance, where the horses were stabled. From the village came the thunder of hoofbeats and cries of alarm. As the other three monks stood around him, illuminated in the moonlight, Jean removed the gold medallion from around his neck. It bore the embossed image of a many-limbed oak tree. He looked into each man's eyes. Then, approaching the youngest, he placed the medallion's chain over his head, took the bolt of cloth from beneath his robe, and tucked it into a leather pouch with a shoulder strap. All eyes were on the young, strong monk as he slung the pouch over his shoulder and covered it with his tunic. You are being entrusted with what will one day be recognized as the Church's most valuable material possession, the old man rasped, still laboring to catch his breath. It is the most sacred earthly connection to the Spirit of Jesus Christ. Deliver it to the Abbot of Chambery. The gold oak will confirm your mission. God be with you. Now go! The young monk jumped on the back of a waiting horse and galloped into the night just as the invading horde rounded the corner leading to the front of the monastery. The horsemen swarmed inside, throwing silver goblets, figurines, and other artifacts onto blankets and howling into the darkness. As the three remaining monks tried to save the monastery, a phalanx of horsemen struck them down with mason sword. Frere Jean was felled by a single blow from a chain-mailed fist.